Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen. So welcome to Business Finance Subject. Ang lesson po natin ngayon ay roles in a corporate organization. So the corporate organization structure, so this will be the example. Every organization has corporate structure to illustrate the roles and functions of its employee. It also shows the corporate organization structure and informs them that this particular set of people each play a role in a decision-making of the company. First is the shareholder, then board of directors. These are the owners. Next to them is the president or the CEO, then the vice president for marketing, vice president for finance, vice president for production, and vice president for administration. So from the president to the vice president, these are the managers. So this is the basic organizational chart in a company. Next, roles and function of position in a corporate organization. First is the shareholders. Shareholders elect the board of directors. Each share held is equal to one vote, right? And then since the BOD is elected by the shareholders, their responsibility is to carry out the objectives of the shareholders otherwise. They would not have been elected in that position. Next is the Board of Directors or BOD. It is the highest policy making body in a corporation. The board's primary responsibility is to ensure that the corporation is operating to serve the best interest of the stockholders. Setting policies on investments, capital structure, and dividend policy. Approving company strategies, goals, and budgets. Appointing and removing members on the top management, including the president. Determining top management compensation. Approving the information and other disclosures reported in the financial statement. President or Chief Executive Officer or CEO. Overseeing the operation of the company and ensuring that the strategies as approved by the board are implemented as planned. Performing all areas of management, planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. Representing the company in the professional, social, and civic activities. Carries out the decision making for all functions. Vice President for Marketing. Formulating marketing strategies and plans, directing and coordinating company sales, performing market and competitors' analysis, analyzing and evaluating the effectiveness and cost of marketing methods applied, conducting and directing research that will allow the company to identify New marketing opportunities, for example, given variants of existing product service already offered in the market. Promoting good relationship with customers and distributors. Vice President for Production. Ensuring production meets customers' demands. Identifying production technology. Process that minimize production costs and make the company cost. 
competitive. Producing a production plan that maximizes the utilization of the company's production facility. Identifying adequate and cheap raw material suppliers. Next is the Vice President for Administrative. Coordinating the functions of Administration, Finance, and Marketing Department. Assisting other department, departments in hiring employees and providing in assistance in payroll, preparation, payment of tenders, and collections of receivables. Determining the location and the maximum amount of office space needed by the company. Identifying means processes or system that will minimize the operating cost of the company. Next is the Vice President for Finance. Financing, investing, operating, dividend policies, and financing decisions. Determining the appropriate capital structure of the company. Company structure refers to how much of your total asset is financed by debt and how much is financed by equity. So we will discuss function of financial management. So the, uh, vice, pre, vice, for, vice President for Finance, ito po yung roles and functions. Financing, investing, operating, dividend, policies, financing, decision. Financing decision includes making decision on how to fund long-term investments such as a company expansion and working capital which deals with the day-to-day -day operation of the company. Example, purchase of inventory, payments of operating expenses, etc. Okay, one of the role of the of Vice President for Finance, Finance Manager, is to determine the appropriate capital structure of the company. Capital structure refers to how much of your asset is financed by debt and how much is financed by equity. Some post capital structure we have low leverage and high leverage. As you can see in low leverage, uh, much uh, more in the equity than the debt, uh, opposite with the high liberty. So, asset is equal to liability plus owner. Owner is equal to. So, ayan po yun. Then, to be able to acquire assets or funds must have come somewhere. If it is was bought using cash from our pockets, it is financed by So on the other hand, if we use money from our borrowings, the asset bought is financed by them. On the other hand, uh, in the figure at the right, I leverage the total asset is financed by 80% on the debt and 20%. Then the mix of debt and equity varies in different corporations depending on management strategy. It is responsibility of the financial manager to determine which type of financing debt or equity is best for the company. So we will proceed or we will talk about investment. Investment, investing is where to put your excess cash to make it profitable more profitable. We expand that definition by including cash held taken from funds as a result of financing decisions. Short-term investment is that when the company is in an excess cash position. To plan for this, the financial manager should be able to make use of financial tools such as budgeting and forecasting. It should be supported by long-term investment should be supported by a capital budgeting analysis, which is among the responsibilities 
of a finance manager. Capital budgeting analysis is a tool to assess whether the investment will be profitable in the long run. The, this is crucial function of management, especially if this investment would be financed by debt. The lender should have the confidence that the investment that management will push through with the, will be profitable or else he would not lend the company any money. So it deals with the daily operation of the company, operating decisions. The role of the vice president for finance is determining how the finance working capital comes such as accounts receivable and inventory. Under operation decision again, the company has a choice or whether to finance working capital needs by the long-term or short-term sources. Why does a financial manager need to choose which source of financing a company should choose? What do they need to consider in making this decision? So, yan po yung iiwan kong tanong sa inyo. Next, short or long-term invest. Short-term sources are those that will be payable in at most 12, 12 months. So, the interest rate is generally low as compared to that of long-term loans. So, this includes short-term loans with banks and super suppliers credit. Hence, this would lead to a lower financing cost. Suppliers' credit are the amounts owned to suppliers for the inventories they delivered or services they provide. Long-term sources, on the other hand, mature in longer periods. Since this will be paid much late later, the lenders expect more risk and place a higher interest rate, which makes the cost higher than short-term sources. However, since it has a longer time to mature, it gives the company more time to accumulate cash to pay off the obligation in the future. So how about the dividends? Dividend policies, cash dividends are paid by corporations to existing shareholders based in their shareholdings in the company as a return on their investment. Some investors buy stocks because of the dividends they expect to receive from the company. Non-declaration of dividends may disappoint these investors. Hence, it is the role of a financial manager to determine when that the company should declare cash dividend. Before a company may be able to declare cash dividend, two conditions must exist. The company, first, the company must have enough retained earnings, accumulated profit, to support cash dividend declaration. The second one is the company must have cash. What do you think will be the effect, effect of the decisions of management in paying dividends? Remember that dividends come from the company's cash and availability of restricted retained earnings. Recall the one of the functions of financial man finance manager is investing and if available cash may be used to invest in long-term investments that would increase, increase the profit profitability of the company. Some small enterprises which are undergoing expansion may be have limited access to long-term financing, both long-term debt and this result to this, small companies are investing their earnings into their business rather than paying them out as dividends. 
Okay, so our words of wisdom, the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you earn by Warren Buffet. Okay, so that's all. Thank you. God bless and stay safe. Bye-bye po until next video.